Hey, good morning, Imbibers. This is Facebook Live at Imbibe with Brandon. You see my breath, it's freezing cold this morning. I thought it'd be good to do a little tour of uh, Imbibe uh, this morning for those of you that have never been here or want to know what it's like. So here we go. Come on in. So this is our little shop, uh, tap room. I'm gonna start at the back. Most exciting parts, the men's and women's bathroom. It's our logo. We, we encourage imbibers to come by here, take a picture, tag us. This is our cider and non-alcoholic section. These are the not poor little non-alcoholic avail available bottles. Here we've got some ciders, another case of ciders. Um, with some gluten-free here at the bottom. This is our kind of our import section with uh, good German German beers. You've got Dinkelacker, we've got Fru Kolsch, Andex, uh, some good German stuff, and then uh, the Samuel Smith collection from the UK. Over here is our Belgian section. Um, good good selection of Trappist ales. Uh, delirium, of course, and over here is kind of our funky, funky beers. They're going to be your gozas, uh, your just kind of off styles like the the dogfish there, the bitches brew, um, good stuff from Logsdon, and then down here we've got our limited wine, white wine selections. This is our our sour case. Uh, this is one of my favorite cases by far. You've got the Farm to Barrel series from Almanac. You've got Urban Family. Uh, E9, a brewery in Tacoma, does amazing sours, those Saison ales there. And you work around, and this is our, our lounge section. Then we've got over here uh, some darker, darker styles, uh, the red Scotch ales. And bleeds over to here too. We've got porters and stouts. These are all going to be though under like eight percent, and I'll explain why in a second. And then some bleed over from the falling cooler that are wheat and farmhouse ales. Here's again some lighter stuff. We've got session IPAs at the top. We've got blondes, cream ales, pale ale section. Um, then we've got pilsners and your Kolsch styles down there. Up here, we've, this is kind of our outside the Northwest IPA cooler, and again, depending on inventory and what comes in, sometimes it bleeds together, but for the most part, these are all IPAs outside of Washington, Oregon, so Stone, California, Joseph James, that's Nevada, and uh, we've got down here um, Green Flash, again, California, things like that, so Big Sky, Montana, and then we, we dedicate this cooler just to Northwest style IPAs. Uh, Washington, Oregon, and it's easy to fill this cooler, and it gets cleaned out quite a bit. Then we move on over to one of my favorite, absolute favorite sections, the imperial kind of stouts and higher alcohol things. Like I mentioned, this is why we can keep these out here. These are good for putting in your cellar and saving for a while. Got Joseph James. Um, got this nice series from Epic, Red Wine. Uh, down here, you got some smoke porter from Alaskan, the New Belgian series, another beautiful bottle from Green Flash, Oculus. Haven't tried that yet. Super stoked to try it. And then again, some more here. This is my favorite sour, Cascade uh, out of Portland. That's our laptop kind of workstation area. Um, I don't know if many people know, but there's a long power strip on the back there. We encourage people to kind of just like Starbucks, come here, hang out, work on your laptop, enjoy the view, enjoy a beer. Tables, booth seating, TV in the corner. Uh, should mention, we do charge a cork fee. You're welcome to drink any of these bottles here on premises. Uh, there's a small cork fee, and we have this little sign around the, uh, around the shop to note what the fee is. That's our kitchen. It's our tap line. We have a refill on growlers and growler crates. That's our tap board couple of TVs. We always like to have local sporting events. We actually have wine on tap. We have four wine on tap. Two whites and two reds. 
keeps the beer fresh. We do have some reading materials, beer re related, travel related, and some awesome shirts available to purchase as well. And last but not least, we have our event board. You can check this out when you're in the shop. We've got a lot of things coming up. We're kind of turning into an entertainment center for Maple Valley. We've got karaoke on the 11th. We have another tap attack with Mazama on the 12th. A beer and donuts pairing with our neighbors, Crown Donuts, next door on the 18th. Uh, we've got the food truck, Silver Spork, is going to be here on the, on the 20th. Another tap attack and Brewer's Night with Firestone Walker on the 26th, and then a paint night uh, on the 29th. So every month we try to have plenty of good stuff occurring um, for entertainment and fun. There's some snacks you can buy. And that's the shop. We hope you all get a chance to come by and visit us soon. Oh, and a little uh, sneak hint surprise here is uh, enjoy these parking spots because they're going to be going away for our outdoor seating, uh, hopefully in, by March 17th, our one-year anniversary. So stay tuned. There you go. Cheers.